What's up creatives, Seb here. In today's video, we have a highly requested video and that's gonna be all about how to make easy YouTube thumbnails in 2021. So I'm gonna be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how I shoot, color grade, and then edit my thumbnails for YouTube. Now, just before we get started, if you are new here, welcome, my name's Seb. This channel is all about videography, video editing, and photography. I'm all about posting high quality short form content. So if it does sound interesting to you, then do consider hitting the subscribe button and liking the video if you haven't already. Now let's get on with step number one and that's all about shooting your YouTube thumbnail. Now, I do it really differently to many other people and what I actually do is I take a video of me posing in loads of different facial expressions. So you can see right now I have a video popped up and this is just me holding a phone. This is for the last YouTube video I did and you can see that I'm pulling different facial expressions and just moving a little bit until I get the perfect thumbnail. Once you're done with your video thumbnail we're then going to head over to step number two over on the editing desk and start creating our YouTube thumbnail. So welcome back to the editing desk we're now doing step number two you have your video thumbnail so what we need to do now is extract like that and color correct it. So right off the bat, grab your video thumbnail right here and then just import it into your YouTube video project. And as you can see right here, we have my entire YouTube video. It's all good to go, ready to upload onto YouTube. But you can see I've got an adjustment layer right here and this is what I've used to color correct and color grade my footage. So this is the flat and then this is degraded. So what we're gonna do is go back to our video thumbnail and we're just gonna copy the adjustment layer settings and then we're gonna paste that onto our video thumbnail. So you'll see it's just a Lumetri color. And as you can see, our thumbnail is now color graded to the exact same style as our YouTube video. So all we have to do now is scrub through our thumbnail video until we find a frame that we like. So for instance, this one's pretty good. All you have to do now is click on this plus button and then you'll see that it's got an export frame thing. You can just drag that into your timeline right there. And then whenever you find a thumbnail that you like, you just press export frame. And then what you can do is you can rename it, change it as a TIFF file, and then choose your folder destination. So for me, it's in this folder. We'll do select and then press OK. And what this is actually gonna do is just gonna export that as a frame. So as you can see, we have a really nice thumbnail already. So what I recommend you to do from here is just export another five thumbnails, just in case you don't like one of them. And what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna hop onto Photoshop and finish off our YouTube thumbnail. All right, so now we're gonna be editing our YouTube thumbnail. So like I said, I'm gonna be using Adobe Photoshop, but don't worry, if you don't have Photoshop, you can use free alternatives like GIMP or Photopea. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to import our screenshot into Photoshop. Don't worry about the resolution or whatever. Loads of people say you have to do such and such, but you actually don't have to. YouTube recommends you have a really large file size for your thumbnail and that'll just perform a lot better because with their compression software or whatever. But as you can see right here, we have our thumbnail. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate my background quickly just so I have a backup just in case. And then we're gonna go on the selection tool right here and do select subject. Now Photoshop's gonna automatically draw a mask over me and we can see already there's a few imperfections. So we're just gonna draw over my jumper a little bit more and zoom in. You can see that the pineapple is not covered. Once you've done that, then we're just gonna do select and mask, and then we're gonna add about two pixels of feather. We'll press okay, and then we'll do layer via copy. Now, if we deselect these two backgrounds, we'll see that we just have a nice little cut out of me. So we'll go ahead and reactivate that. And then what I like to do, if you don't have a blurry background, then you can go to filter, make sure that you're selecting your background, go to blur and then Gaussian blur. And then you can just add a little bit more blur in your background if you want to do so. So we'll keep it about 8% and then we'll press okay. And now if we just compare quickly, you can see that this is the blurry background and then this is the original. So just added a little bit more blur and then we're gonna reactivate my front layer. Now for the main bit of the thumbnail, that's done, but now what I like to do is add some text. So we're gonna click on the text layer right here. I'm using the font impact, and then I like to keep it very minimalistic and quite big. So this video is all about how to post the best Instagram Reels qualities. So I'm just gonna put post. I'm gonna move that a little bit more into the corner. We're gonna duplicate this layer, and then we're gonna put the best, and then we're gonna select that and just make it a little bit smaller than the first text and then we'll press OK. We'll reposition that a little bit more and then we'll duplicate another text layer and put video quality. And then finally, I'm gonna add one little graphics that I've made in the past before because the video is about Instagram Reels. We're just gonna resize that, keep it in correlation with it so people know that it's about Instagram Reels. But we're gonna resize all the text a little bit more, just like that, that looks pretty good. And a cool thing you can do is you can actually grab this layer right here of just you. And if you drag that all the way on top, then your text will be behind you. 
So obviously it doesn't work very well with this right here. So if we just move video quality on top, but it works pretty well with the best and then the little icon right here. And now finally, what we're gonna do is just add a drop shadow to our text. So select your text, go to blending options, and then you should have an option that says drop shadow. So for me, it's just right here. So for my drop shadow settings, I use blending mode, multiply, opacity 55, angle 30, distance six, spread 15, size 30, and then for my contour, I use this little curvy one, but if you don't have that, don't worry, it doesn't matter too much. Just press okay, and then you'll see the drop shadow has been applied. And you can actually just alt drag that down to all of your other text layers, and that'll apply the drop shadow onto the rest of your text. Now that's pretty much it for the thumbnail, but there's one more thing that I like to do just to finish it off. I'm gonna go to my main background, and then I'm gonna go to the adjustment section, and then select hue and saturation. I'm then gonna click on this little button right here, and that's just gonna select it purely for my background. And then I'm gonna go to the master section, go to the cyan, and then I'm gonna make it a little bit more bluish, like light blue, just because that's the kind of vibe I have in my video backgrounds anyway. But that looks pretty good to me. From here, we're just gonna go to file, then export as PNG press OK and then press save and then you're good to upload that thumbnail onto your YouTube. So that's how I easily create YouTube thumbnails in 2021. Once again, if you haven't got Photoshop, you can use free alternatives like GIMP or Photopea. You can do the exact same method that I've showed you. But if you have learned something new and you enjoyed the video, do smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.